It's a new season and even a new car for the team. But when picking out parts, some are so legendary, you just don't mess with what works. And whether it's the real deal or the Mac Daddy, these guys specialize in W's and a whole lot more goodies for the brand new car. All coming up on Married with Dragsters. Married with Dragsters, new car bill brought to you by Moroso. It's our passion for racing that drives us. By Computex Systems, your one-stop shop for racing electronics, excess power batteries, real power, unreal performance. And by k and Engineering, the world's best air filter. brought you a whole lot of stuff today for the car. It was better coming up here and being with you than uh, being in our dining room, our makeshift dining room. So I'm just going to kind of awesome. go over some of the stuff and, and show you what I brought. I know that you're very familiar with, with a lot of these because you guys install them. Uh, same thing I had in Baby Beastie. I had just put it in at the beginning of the, the prior season and we're going to be going with the, let's see which one is this? Do I need to get that out? Yeah, I want to get this out. From, from Biondo and from Biondo Racing Products and Digital Delay. I love these things. They're awesome products. And to find out more about the Mega Panel and lots of offerings at Biondo Racing, I had a chance to sit down with the multi-time NHRA World Champion, Peter Biondo, at PRI. There are tons of choices when it comes to thinking about the parts, the products, the items that you're going to be putting into a new race car, whether it be a dragster like I'm build, building, or door car, whatever it may be, and so many of what I like to call the fun items. Okay, it's just the way I am, Peter. Uh, you can find a Beyondo Racing products, and one of those that really helps you get dialed in is the mega panel and, and with a dial-in board. Now, I had one of these on, on Baby Beastie, and I only got to use it for a year, and bye-bye she went. Kevin's had one on his car for a couple of years. These are really cool. Can you kind of tell us the idea behind being able to have all of that in one package? Yeah, it definitely simplifies the dash in the dragster. Um, it has all of the switches that you need, obviously ignition switch, fan, water pump, fuel pump, lights, etc. And built into that is actually the, the no more shoe polish. Right there, you punch in your electronic dialing board, and it sends the message to the dialing board. Gotcha. And, uh, and that's where the tower sees the dialing. So it's all nice and compact. It's all in, neatly done for dragsters, especially into a dash. And it also, you run all your wiring, you know, your fuses. It comes with a complete circuit board, and it uh, really cleans up the wiring in the car as well. Racers selling to racers. So it's really good to work with a company like, like you guys when you're looking to buy a particular product. That's why I would want to buy it from you. If Beyondo Racing offers it, I want to get it from you guys. Well, thank you. We, I think that's what's kept us alive for 20 years, Kathy. Uh, we're a small company that's very hands-on and we deal with racers every day. And we're very receptive to what they uh, what their opinions are and what changes we need to make and we're there for them. Can you remind us what your website is? It is www.beyondoracing.com. Best of luck to you. Stay in, stay in another class. Don't come in mind, please. <laughs> right. Please. Okay. But yeah, we mounted back here. That way, the, the wing still fits. Then you still put the cover underneath. And the nitrous bottle, if you want one, goes up here. You still have room for everything. Okay, so basically, they fit something like that, or yeah, not just out of the, like that. Just like that. Yep. Just like that. Okay. And then the four bolts off yep. of that mount down. Yep, bolt right down to a couple of rubber snubbers underneath there. Okay. And the lines coming down don't get yep. into the suspension or anything? Nope. Uh, so no problem. Style. Okay, well that's cool. It's, it, and we have her, her fuel shut off. What? That's something that we need for injection. Yep. Uh, you actually use it? I mean, oh, a lot of people who don't drive, they now use it. They, they have to have it and put on it. It's not used no, for we the use car it. We use it because we in the dash. We, well, and that she likes it off to the left. Okay. 
somewhere. Maybe we could, uh, I don't know if we can see it in this car. These say will be. Obviously, you do your shoot lever here, right? You yep. your shoot lever. Shoot tech didn't tell us somewhere to over here. Somewhere maybe in this vicinity. You want another lever, or is it like a push-pull? It's like a push-pull deal. You want it up and down? She likes in it out. like this, yes. Because so what she, she does, and she reaches over with her one hand yep. and works it like that. Because, you yep. know, it's easier yeah. to go across when you're in the register. Yep. Perfect. Okay. That's what I was hoping you had something. Yeah, yeah, it's your standard everyday. I'll spring it over there and see if it's on the back side of it. Okay. Yeah, yep. that'll work. And then we'll just build a little mount. In fact, that pump might actually set somewhere. Maybe. Well, we've only got a uh, three foot of line okay. on this solenoid okay. to get back to the top of her track. Can I make a line? We can, make, we can actually lengthen this as long as we need, you know what I mean? Wait, why can't we just put a new line on there? Well, here's the deal. It's got, it's threaded brass type high pressure line. You know what I mean? I mean, whatever you Well, think. or if you want me to put a tab right here. I somewhere, mean. Somewhere where we could just mount it. Okay. What, what do you got going on right in here, Mark? Um, nothing. That, that can be, I don't know whether you're going to run a vacuum can on the motor. Yes. That can be a vacuum can, it can be a remote water pump. Here's the water overflow on either side. Okay. We could mount that. <coughs> the front of your motor is going to be somewhere right here. Okay. So why couldn't I make a little tab somewhere right in here? Where does it got to go? Which side of the motor? Doesn't matter. Because my line will probably come back, follow the frame back, and come up and in. Because it comes in from but the back. But it's only three foot long here. So it's only three foot long. So are we better to come back this way farther? Sure. That and make that black line longer? Oh, yeah, because we can do that, obviously. I mean, are you... Um, oh, you're talking uh, about the actual, like, my injection hose. Yeah. Okay. I know what you're talking about now. I guess I'll be frank. Are you sold on having to use this camp? No. Let me go around upstairs. This, they're not, we're not going to put the starter button on the blow shield. I'm going to put the starter button in the mid plate. Okay, we'll, we'll put the, the right small here. purge pump up here then? Uh, no, they want it back here. You can go back there? Yeah, I've only got three foot of line that i got to get up and into the back of the injection. Okay. So and we'll put it where they're going to send the, the we got a Morocco water can too. We'll see where that's involved. See if there's room for the plate here or if we want to stay up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the starter is right in here. I, I don't know which way yet. So okay. Uh, Maybe it could even, we'll just have to see where we're going to put it. We'll give ourselves a couple different options. Yeah, the little pump deal is over there <coughs> also. It's like one of those, looks like yeah. a little general motors pump. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what that is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and it's got the uh, solenoid right on it too. So. One other concern I have, is we've had this problem before. Is there any way we can get a five gallon fuel saw? Because we've actually ran out of fuel and coffee. We're putting a lot of a lot of alcohol into those motors, and because of the you know the sheet metal intake and whatnot, and we have ran out of fuel. And I, I vowed to her I would never ever let that happen again, which is why in the other car we had a five and a half gallon fuel cell I actually built. Well, I think I can get where did he go? He got to build an aluminum one, but I think he did. And I'm not real concerned with being able to see in it. I realize the concept and everything is cool but we fill them after every pass anyhow to try to keep everything consistent. But if we could go to a five, at least a five gallon fuel cell, I think that would be great. The way I made one, because hers was not, it ran out, it was like the same size. So the way I did it was I kind of made it wedge shaped with a top on it for the, you know, all the return lines and whatnot for the injection. Yep. And I just brought it clean down to here and brought it back to the protecto plate and had enough room for a finger in there and it was five and a half gallons okay. and it didn't come all the way over here. He doesn't have a seat cover in his car and slides around. <laughs> the seat come out easy? Yes, it's not too bad. If I bring the seat up to you, you guys hook us up on it. Maybe do the little butt thing she was talking about. 
Just no, the butt. This is the butt thing. No, that we're talking we're about. talking yeah. about putting pad in there for your butt to sit in, right? Yeah, the hers we had to raise up. You don't need to raise mine up, obviously, put a little yeah. bit of padding in the butt. Yeah, yeah, Because you know how it is when you don't have any ass. <laughs> it starts no. getting off. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. I don't have any. So my butt starts hurting when I'm sitting up there in the lane. And what's really going to suck this year on Top Dragster is everybody's going to have to get suited up before they get in the car with the Hans or, you know, the Hybrid Pro. So it's it's going to be a little bit different. Those people that wait for the last minute to jump in their cars, I don't think that's going to be happening. Married with Dragsters, new car bill brought to you by Moroso, by Computex Systems, Excess Power Battery, and by k and Engineering on Competition Plus TV. chance to go to all of the different places and the manufacturers that we use products for is pretty cool. As I've said before, with where we live in Ohio, we are really lucky to be in close proximity to all kinds of places and one of those is Mickey Thompson here in Stowe, Ohio. And we've, we've been so happy, Tom, since we made the switch to Mickey Thompson several years ago that I was actually pretty sorry that we hadn't done so earlier. Uh, I run the 3185 or had on Baby Beastie, gonna to continue to do that on whatever her name's gonna be. <laughs> but the one we're looking at right here is actually the one that Kevin uses on his top dragsters, the 3186. Can you tell me about this tire and, and, and about the compound and, and the sidewalls and all of the construction? This is our 3186 part number. Um, excellent top dragster tire, uh, made for automatic pro mod. I guess the product was a little ahead of its time, I would say. Um, it, took, it was a little slow building up, and now it's just, it's like the hottest thing right now for the top dragster class. It's got in our patented M5 compound. Uh, it's got six sidewall, which helps with the higher horsepower cars. You know, the top dragsters have gone to bigger motors. You know, they started out with just naturally aspirated, now they're spraying them and everything. And this tire is just done excellent. That's cranking the series in. You know, and, and the difference between my 3185 is I have the M7 compound in, in mine. Same compound M5. Is, is it the same same different one? Different carcass. Okay, different carcass. <laughs> See, I always knew that Kevin and I had different carcasses, but that's a whole nother show. Um, now I've learned something new. One thing that I really noticed when we made the switch to Mickey Thompson, besides the sticky Mickey part, as I like to call it, is the sidewall. And how long the sidewall seems to last compared to other brands that I've used before, how uh, my 60 foot wasn't changing, how all kinds of things, and I know that had a lot to do with the way the sidewall is. We're really big on consistency. We really want, you know, we want every run to be within thousands. I mean, that's what every tire manufacturer strives for. Right. We want it to be within thousands. Whether it was lane changes, the temperature changing, you know, you putting more power to it. We want the thing to be consistent and last long. We want, we want our customers to have the best product possible. And we get that with Mickey Thompson, and I cannot wait to put the brand new 3185s, and of course, you know, Kevin's 3186s, but see, the thing that I have is I have the Mickey Thompson double bead locks on my car. I kept them off the old one because they weren't going with her, so they could go on the new one. Thank you, Tom. Thank Appreciate you, it very much. Felt good to check another one off our list, and we were set on our Mickeys for the 2012 season. Now we had another hour east, and check in with Marco Abruzzi. Kevin made the switch in the top dragsters to start running more Abruzzi products and he was like very happy with all of the changes that we've made and I mean we, we were able to actually start putting more of the power down that we had for the car. This year we're really looking forward to putting some of the power down that Kevin's going to have which we're going to tell you about in some upcoming episodes but tell us uh, Marco what have, what have you done to get Kevin ready for this year tranny wise? 
Well, as much power as he has, we had to basically change the whole transmission around. He had basically a super comp transmission. We've upgraded the planetary, the valve body, the input shaft. Uh, made him a new torque converter that's, he should, the power he has now, he should be a player in Top Dragster. He'll be on the top heap, top of the heap, and uh, see what happens. When, when you're trying to figure all of this stuff out, I mean, it, it is a science. I mean, when it comes down to, when you think, eight inch, 10 inch, you know, yeah. all the different size converters and, and all of that. How do you figure all this stuff out? I mean, to me, it's very interesting, all of the formulas that you must have. Yeah. Well, we've got formulas. You know, experience is the biggest thing. We have lots of race cars. We race every weekend and, uh, you know, trial and error. We do a lot of testing. Uh, we run a car in about every class. We, uh, you know, just, you know, formulas, experience, seeing what works. Uh, right. Lots, lots of possibilities. Opportunities are endless. Do you find that, you know, race cars have tons of different personalities and just because sometimes that combination worked over here just because a guy's car is a little oh, yeah. bit different. I mean, you've probably found yeah. that over the years. Oh, yeah. So that's the biggest challenge. There's uh, uh, same engine, same horsepower, same weight car. They don't run the same. You could build two engines. They don't. They dyno the same. They don't go down the track the same. Right. So, uh, yeah, just experience, practice, uh, just try it. And, uh, we've got pretty good combinations now, so uh, everything we do we're pretty comfortable with. Uh, you know, nothing's perfect. You, ne you never know what's going to happen. Right. But, but, that, that's all. Well, I have to kid with you. Does that mean I just have a super comp one? Is that's, that just yeah. it? I just that's have what a, you have. I just a have super. a super comp one? <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing. It's an Abruzzi transmission. And my very first Abruzzi transmission yeah. and converter. I can't let Kevin have all the good stuff. Right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, so I got to have the good stuff, too. Uh, and what, what else did we get a chance to do for me this year that I've been so excited about? Well, you got, you got a new re uh, case. Uh, got rid of the ugly looking stock one with the shield on it and everything. And now right. Powder coated the metric new car. All which, set to go. Which is something that, that you guys just started offering here powder coating wise. Well, in the past no, few we've years, been powder coating okay. them. Uh, everybody with a dragster gets them powder coated because they clean so easy. The, the regular reed case is porous, uh, keeps the dirt inside. The powder coat just wipes off. They look nice. We've got some other stuff we offer. Different coatings, but powder coating is the most popular. You have different colors. I have to ask because girl thing. You have yeah. different colors. Any color you want. Any color. See? <laughs> the rainbow of colors for your case. Yep. If you know, folks want to get a, in touch with you and, and find out more about what you could do for their application, whether it's a door car dragster, whether you're in Australia, whether you're in Canada, no matter where you are, how yep. can they do that? They just go to my website, www.abruziracing.com, or call me at 330-369-1707. If I'm not at the racetrack, I'm here. It's my life. That's right. Divi <laughs> Division 3, you'll, you'll see Marco and his top dragster and top sportsman car all over the place, which is another thing that is really good if you were to run into some troubles at the track. And, and a lot of times, I mean, heck, he, he came over and helped us out, and we didn't even have your brand of, of transmission at yep. that time. We do now yep. because we saw what he could do and how quick he could do it. So uh, I know you run around a lot of the track. Yeah. Keep, people keep you busy. Yeah, I keep, uh, if I'm there, I'll work on it. I mean, I don't care if you're a customer or not. You know, uh, good customer relations, good service, and, uh, you know, I like working on transmissions. <laughs> And he's pretty darn good at it, too. Well, we are glad we got a chance to come over here and check all of this out because I didn't get to come over and drop the stuff off. But we have some really bad weather on the way. So Alex, who's holding the camera, we're going to hop in this beast and get back home, which is about four hours back to Lima. Bye! Promotional considerations for Married with Dragsters provided in part by these fine companies. Married with Dragsters Extra. So tell me, Ted Jones, what's it like working with Kathy Fisher? Oh my God, what an experience. She's a great talent. <laughs> and he didn't even get paid to say that. <laughs> now we gotta ask Brendan, who I work with and travel with. She's a diva. <laughs> There's probably more truth to that than I want to admit. No. <laughs> She's awesome. <laughs> yeah, we, we like Kathy Fisher's husband too. His name is. Uh, uh... On the next episode of Married with Nightstone. Awesome. Everything feel okay? 
Yeah. The angle is great. Put these in there. Here we got the back that Has that nice up. I mean, it just feels good. I can't imagine what it's going to be like when it's all done. It's going to be great. And my short arms.